Welcome back to another performance review video where I go over specific videos and talk about the analytics to think about why the views are high, why the views are low, and potentially to see if we're going to drop any anime. I know last week we missed it because there was so much different stuff we're farming, but hey, it's fine. It is what it is. Now, let's see. Let's see. Immediately, you can tell here, right? Even though this video was uploaded six hours ago, everything is in two hour increments right now. It's still doing better in this one, and it's doing better in the petites, and it even does better in the analysis. Why is that? Because people love these chart videos, man. For whatever the reason is, these chart videos, people eat that shit up. It doesn't fucking matter. It's like the sheer format. Like, people are just, like, addicted to these chart videos. And it's obviously too new of a video that I published to show, you know, what kind of audience is showing up, but... Without a doubt, bro, chart videos will always do well. The part two Hitler reacts is doing worse than part one Hitler reacts, obviously, because it's the same shit. I think that this one is a better one than this Hitler reacts, but <laughs> it's crazy, huh? Eight year old video. <laughs> Hitler reacts to Rem's confession V0 episode 18. What other is there? Well, the V0 videos are always doing well, huh? Every 6 a.m. PST, I upload ReZero episode, and then in two hour increments, I upload the analysis, petite, and other related content. But it's always been a very stable view, minimum like 5k average. It's very happy about that. SA also doing well, but uh, and then these are just crucifying people. It's actually crazy how many people I've banned here, man. 14 people, and then more people continue to show up and comment about their anime series that they wanted voted in without realizing what the video is, and I kept fucking banning those people too. So, you know. Sacrificing monkey videos are always going to do well. It's just kind of sad if you think about how I don't need to spend money to make these videos. These are random clips that I'm just farming easily. Three separate videos. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. 1.8k, 1.5k, 1.8k. And then you have fucking this video where I spend 40 minutes recording and then Sir Gregor goes out of his way to fucking edit this shit. 1.2k views, man. People just don't care that much about Osan Newbie Adventure, but hey, it is what it is. I still enjoy it. And another sad thing, bro. This video here, the downfall of Tower of God Season 2. This video did better than the actual Tower of God reaction. Where is it? <laughs> 1.2k! 1.8, bro, like... It's just like Last Crusade, when no one was watching that shit, then I made a video saying, I'm dropping this shit, boys, and this is why, and everyone watches that video. Obviously, more people can watch that, right? People that's dropped Tower of God can watch this video and talk about this shit. It's also kind of drama, kind of controversy. It makes sense why people would watch this over Tower of God. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, the Hitler reacts. The first, this one actually did really well. The first Hitler reacts, bro? This shit actually bangs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just a fun, stupid fucking meme video. And like, look at the engagement, bro. High as fuck. Everyone loved this shit. <laughs> Such a silly, stupid video. What else is there that really stood out? Oh, Wistoria did really well. Wistoria has been pretty lackluster in terms of viewership. But uh, Wistoria did pretty well. And I want you to look at something. Look at the amount of likes on Wistoria. This only happens because it was a really hype episode and everyone's coming out to watch. I think that roughly 200 is the ballpark of community uh, effort. When I think about my core um, co uh, community, right? When I think about the baseline amount of likes or views is, it's around that 2000 range with about 200, you know, likes. ReZero is obviously on a different fucking level right now. It says 539 likes and it's averaging around 5k views every time. But I don't think that's really indicative of my actual community. I'm getting bailed out by the ReZero community. And roughly 10 to 15% of them hopefully will be turned into converted members. So that we can try to hit for like, you know, 3,000 average viewership with 300-ish, you know, you know, likes next as we move forward. It's looking like Fate Zero is going to win too. So after that, we'll see what the true numbers are. Or maybe we get bailed out by Fate audience too. Who knows, man. But ReZero has been fantastic. Let's look at the Wistoria analytics. Boom. Let's see this shit. Very good. Right? Typical in this period. 1.3k to 3k. It's popping off. I mean, what do you expect? It was a pop-off episode. If you look at the reach, again, nobody searches this shit through the YouTube search engine. Remember, it's all about recommendation system. Right? Look at the engagement pretty high. 
Is there a specific section that popped off? There are some specific segments that popped off. What what is this section? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a two-year-old, you know, power fantasy there. And what is this part? Guys, what does it mean for the climax of a fight that the opening starts playing? We about to fucking win. Oh yeah, it's 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 the ten clones. It's the ten clones. Yeah, that, that was a pretty funny moment for sure. For sure. Nah, no, there were some fun fucking moments, man. It makes sense why people would want to watch this shit. Glad that with story at least, you know. Like, it, it, it'd be a big problem if on a hype episode like this, with story I did bad. But thank God that it did well, right? Thank God it did well. Let's look at Tower of God though, bro. And again, 154 likes. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, but not up to par. Oh, uh, yeah. TOG, it is... Oh, no, bro. It's like... Oh, imagine if TOG had with story animation. It's so sad. It is so sad to see TOG in this state of affairs, man. I'm not gonna drop it. I'm not gonna drop TOG. I still love the story. I want to know more of it. It's just so sad to see the current state of affairs with TOG, man. Let's see some other videos. Me just farming Rem Glazers. Uh, oh, this video actually did pretty good. And then it kind of makes sense that it would do well, right? People love chart videos, and this is another one of those... Not the identical type of chart video, but a ranking, right? I like to do more of these videos, too. It's actually really fun. It's like watching a horse race. 258 likes. Pretty fucking good, man. Let's look at the analytics. Hey, we got some new subs off of it. <laughs> some people don't like it, so they, you know, unsub. But just remember, this is always good. Losing subs, believe it or not... Is a very good thing. Trim the fat, get rid of the unwanted audience. You're not my audience, you don't want to watch this shit, just get out of here. There's no, there's no like, uh, uh, personal feelings getting hurt here. Returning viewers, new viewers, so it's all of my returning, you know, chart likers. Here's the main regions, yeah. People just love this kind of format. They love this shit, it's fun. It's just brain rot content, it's seeing rankings and shit, always fun. Let's look at the white whale subjugation video. How well does... This is a bit... Maybe we'll check out the actual white whale one. This one over here. The actual fight. 2.4 times higher than average. And remember... This is not authentic community viewership. I know that this is an inflated number. ReZero is bailing me out. And the better expectations I have... The more I can protect my mentality when ReZero ends and the views fall off because simply people are there for ReZero, but it's fine. You move on to different things and you want to make these, you know, tourists into community members. Look at the audience. Not old enough to actually see, you know, the video, but 50-50 split. Decent. Anything else? Oh yeah, this one did pretty well. Ranking the... This is a kid nuts video, right? Yeah, a tierless video usually always does well. 243 likes. <laughs> tierless videos are always going to have uh, dislikes, though. Tierless videos will always have a lot of dislikes relative. I mean, 96% is still pretty good, but of course, you know, you say, like, this anime is good, this anime is bad. Monkeys get their fucking personal feelings hurt because random people online said something bad about the anime they love. You fucking pussy. Why do you even put these content creators on a pedestal? Why the fuck do you care about their opinion? Dumbass, it's on you for getting mad. Let's see. No new viewers. It's fine. Just returning audience. Right, it's just returning audience. Echidnuts, this is Echidnuts tier list, by the way. Echidnut has very good takes. Now, I don't know what it means to have a very good take. It sounds kind of cringe, but his opinions are grounded in logic that I agree with. Much better in fucking Gigas tier list. I cannot wait to see Gigas Summer 2024 tier list and get mad at that one, bro. <laughs> and I just said, why the fuck are you getting mad at a fucking random person online? Doesn't that apply to myself? Yes, I am a hypocrite. Next up, Tensura video, 253 likes. It's all right. It's definitely not popping off, but it's just hitting it, right? On the upper end, very good. I think that um, I'm very blessed that 
even in the yapping episodes, even in the quote-unquote boring episodes where a lot of other reactors have dropped Tensura due to the lack of engagement, my engagement is still high for Tensura. Why is that? Because those audiences might have been just there for the power of fantasies, but because of how sweaty I take these commentary analysis and reactions, obviously attract that type of audience who are willing to just stomach an entire fucking episode about yapping. So hey, this is what happens, man. We have an audience willing to just watch meeting episodes and that's fantastic for me. Anything else? No new viewers expected. Next up. Let's look at this one. Oh yeah. Any show any news videos always does well. Like this is the true Megido, right? Huh. This guy got mad. It's always so funny to see people unsub on most random videos. But um sometimes it's just people that subbed like a year ago and realize that holy shit, I'm still subbed to this guy. I don't know what the fuck this topic is. The audience for this, it's gonna be about the same, right? There's gonna yeah, it's gonna be all returning audiences. 13 minutes, pretty decent, you know, engagement. Yep. They wanna watch the entire thing through. That's pretty good. RPM? Yeah. At least it's above $2, but if only I could get like that $5 RPM, man. Next up. Oh, the waifu wars. <laughs> waifu wars and I love Amelia, bro. Let's see the waifu wars, bro. I'm surprised there's not more dislikes here. I thought that these waifu war videos were going to be extremely volatile, but for the most part, people agree with my takes, which I'm mad about. Why are you saying that I have reasonable base takes? You're supposed to be angry and screeching and, you know, fucking post stupid comments that I can farm. Unfortunate, man. Un these drama videos just didn't work out. Drama videos didn't work out, man. But hey, the farm still continues. The I Love Amelia episode. This is a monumental episode, right? Episode 18, 7, 3, 2021, 20, right? Those are some of the episodes that are most memorable to me right now. And we're only on episode 21. 14 new subs from I Love Amelia. Amazing. Let's look at the audience. Yeah, it's all going to be returning viewers, right? Let's look at the reach. Everyone finding me through recommendation system as usual. Is there a part that peaked? I know where it peaked. Of course. Guys, guess where she says I love... Guess, guess where... Subaru says, I love Amelia. Can you tell? Looking at this graph. Gee, I wonder. Hmm. What could it be? Maybe over here? <laughs> that was such a shock. Like, I thought he was going to say, I love you back. And he says, I love a million at that moment, bro. What? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> he just wins the tournament. I'm not even speaking English. <laughs> just because Rem does that, yeah, doesn't mean. She's entitled to Subaru's love. Beast! I think a lot of children watching this show when they were teenagers don't understand that concept, right? Because I'm like a fucking grown-ass man. Because I'm like... <laughs> rooted in... Proper fucking societal functions and mannerisms and understanding of fucking social etiquette and relationships. Like, I can come to this conclusion, but... I think a lot of kids watching this shit that doesn't really have any real-life experiences... Are just gonna get mad at Subaru, right? Of course they will. It makes sense, but like, you know, love is a complex thing. You can't just expect the other side to be entitled to the love because you did this. But it's just like, damn, at that time, bro, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Nokotan. Nokotan can't even get 200 likes, man. 100 likes. Honestly, I should be dropping Nokotan. I should. But I want to make it to, you know, Bashame's rice field. I want to make it to episode 10, you know, it's just, ugh, it's just so sad what's happened to this fucking show, man. We've already talked about that plenty. What else is there? Oh, this video did pretty well. I'm going viral. 511 likes, man. 
This video is original content. Original as in we're just farming, you know. <laughs> just a Twitter thread and 27 subs. Why? All I'm doing in this video is showing you a Twitter thread of motherfuckers talking about me about ReZero. 27 subs. I don't know why this specific video you'd find a sub and not the other reactions, but basically it's this one, right? We just read a Twitter thread. Did pretty well. Was there new people coming in? Nah, it's all returning. Revenue? One dollar. Because obviously, you know, it's a shorter video. Not everyone's going to watch it for a longer time. That's why the RPM is low compared to the other reaction videos. Let's see. What next? Failure frame is doing all right. You know, these are good. Anything above 2K is pretty average. It's pretty decent. The Sylvanas video is actually doing bad, man. A lot of the Sylvanas skit reactions are hit or miss. Yes, there's a little to no time effort put into it, right? In terms of the reaction part, because it's only like a three minute video, but it's just like, damn, man, it's just all over the place. The petite does pretty mid, but obviously, you know, it makes sense. Not everyone wants to see the whole thing. I switched up the analysis videos and stopped doing chibi review videos because I noticed that chibi review videos from eight years ago are, and I'm sure he'd agree with me, it's not up to par to what I expect from Chibi. Half the video is just him being angry about the cliffhangers and talking about how good the production value is without actually talking about the content of the show. And I was like, I'll, I should just do this by myself. That's why we're just pivoting and doing my own analysis and talking about the actual fucking anime according to the stuff that I care about. Honestly, those Chibi review reactions were literally me just sitting there and Chibi was just background noise. And anytime he says something close to what I was wanted to talk about, I'd just go off on a tangent and talk about specific points. So I don't think there's any fucking difference, man. The Perry, uh, this one did pretty well. 178 likes, you know, Perry. Uh, Perry was falling off pretty hard. It makes sense why it would, but you know, this is average. This is doing pretty decent. Still a stupid ass show. You know, it's barely holding on, but I'll keep on to it. Oh yeah. I'm quitting anime reactions, bro. Oh, this video did numbers. 98.6% likes. 637 likes. Oh man. Oh man. That's right. We're not an anime reaction channel, guys. We are an anime commentary channel. 24 subs off of this. Because after you got fucking baited. People didn't even watch the entire fucking thing. They just got... They just heard the commentary shit and went off. Like, you're supposed to fucking stay for the reason, but... Most people did actually read it, man. Most people actually did read it, and if you look at the actual comments throughout the whole thing, it's very supportive. The whole point of this video was to call out those monkeys that are too stupid and just want to watch the reaction through a guy watching the episode by themselves. If that's the case, bro, just turn on the episode and go watch it by yourself. I'm here to actually give a fuck. I'm here to actually talk about the goddamn content. I'm here to make reactions again. The entire reason that I even started anime reactions, one of the most important reason. Too many garbage fucking reactions out there where motherfuckers don't even talk about my favorite moments. So I decided I'll do it myself. I'll create reactions full of content that I want to see during my favorite fucking moments. And hopefully I'm delivering that. And I think, you know, based on the analytics engagements and seeing many different people that also share the same pain point as me have come to say that, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, bro. There is an audience that are willing to stay around for the commentary and the in-depth analysis rather than a dude just saying, oh my God, or a girl showing their cleavage. I have sit, I have hit that community. I'm creating my own fucking niche out of it. I know that pausing to do reactions is not, uh, what's it called? No, even in those uh, Classroom of the Elite reactions in the past, I feel like my uh, reactions were still more, what's the word? in depth, even though I didn't pause, but obviously because I pause, I'm able to really think out the whole thought process and not be like out of the loop. I hate it when I'm watching something and I don't understand what's going on. Like I need to fucking understand the immersion cannot happen unless I understand what the fuck is going on. If I don't understand, if I don't theory craft, if I don't pause to understand what's going on, I, I I can't enjoy it, and that's the way that I enjoy it, right? So, at the end of the day, I'm creating content for people like-minded like me who wants to have these reactions full of commentary and analysis. If you don't like that, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. 
Do I know the Yoboy Ro Roshi channel? Of course they're good. We've already talked about them. Remember? Before you're getting 1 mil at this, your boy Roshi is literally 10xing us. This is just proof that they're that good, right? Of course they don't pause, but they have their own set of different unique uh, in entertainments. And they've created a community that loves the banter and the different, uh, I guess, interactions that can only happen. Because, you know, Roshi, Shira, and Lupa are there, right? Everyone has their own different strategy. And, you know, I'm not going to be reacting with, like, two different people to offer the same thing. I think that I have a different type of win condition that suits better to my ability to just yap. So I think what I'm doing is a very carefully crafted, optimized strategy that works for my goals and what I want. Long videos give more money in YouTube. So why some reaction channels cut their videos 10 to 15 minutes when they can earn more? Because their entire fucking video is, like... 20 minutes long because they don't pause and they need to edit it so it's gonna be 10 to 15 minutes right it's, it's just that simple they just don't have the same amount of commentary and shit to say so if the source material is under t it's like roughly 20 minutes then of course the final content is gonna be 10 to 15 right my full fucking reactions for re-zero goes from 50 to one hour on average a reaction that, like, I don't really care that much about, like, Nokutan, is gonna be, like, kind of like 30 minutes. And on average, about reactions that are just okay, right? It's a 30 to 40 minute range, right? That's why my content is just default just longer, because I'm just talking for longer. Of course they know that, you know, but it's not like they can just create longer videos. It's that, it's their strategy, man. All right. Staggering minutes with videos also help with copyright? No, that has nothing to do with it. Alright, what else is there? Hmm. Oh yeah! Roshtere! Man, there is still a lot of Roshtere viewers, and getting this type of viewership is very high. For sure. But you can definitely tell that when Yuki doesn't say some incest shit, the viewership is so low relative to the other Roshtere videos. Right? Because, like, think about it. Let's look at the most popular videos. <laughs> Bro, 47k because, you know, she says something dumb. First episode, it makes sense. There's more, uh, you know, more Yuki fucking doing with DJ and shit. People don't actually give a fuck about the Roche Teddy plot, bro. They don't. Most people don't give a fuck. Here, I, I think there's a comment here. Let's see. Not that. Not that. Uh, not that. There was a, there was an extremely based comment. There was an extremely based comment, maybe not in this one, maybe something else, where a dude said, "Let's get real. Most motherfuckers watching this shit don't actually care about the election debate arc. No one cares about the actual fucking plot. They just want to see Yuki say incest shit." And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I think you're right. But hey, still a pretty decent fucking engagement in analytics. Let's see it. 4.8k, obviously, this is, you know, roughly two times, you know, 55% more views, sorry. What part peaked? Probably fucking uh, Yuki scenes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yuki scenes and no one cares about Alia debate. No one cares about the Alia debate, bro. No one cares. No one cares. Everybody just look at the lowest part. It's just Ali. No one cares. They just want to see Yuki, bro. I don't blame them. I don't blame them, right? I just want to see my favorite parts in the reaction. It's just Yuki. No one actually cares about the fucking plot, bro. It is what it is. No harsh feelings. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, nice. Oh man, the Oshinoko videos. And I want to bring your attention here to Mr. Freshest Anime. Just to, again, I, I talked about this in the other video too, but... Friend of the channel, I can no longer call him, call him Baldi. He's unfortunately grown his hair back. It is a sad day. But look at his Oshinoko reactions, bro. Oshi, Oshi, Oshi. Bro, his Oshinoko viewership is higher than Alia. And you know why? You know why? 
because the Japanese subtitles, bro. There's Japanese subtitles. Precious Anime has, you know, shared this with me, and I don't think this is really private information, but anytime that you see Japanese characters in his titles, he has built in Japanese subtitles to hit the Japanese audience. There's no one on YouTube right now that has more views on Oshinoko compared to Roshitere. Most people's viewership looks like mine, where Oshinoko is going to get 2.6k, but Roche today is going to be like twice the viewership. This is across the board. Because in a global audience, no one gives a fuck about Oshinoko. But in the Japanese audience, people love this shit. That's why it's such a smart thing what he's doing. And he's also doing this for Elusive Samurai as well, right? Huge Japanese audience there. Brilliant strategy. He's executing it amazingly, right? 11k, 7.8k, right? It's all in Japan, baby. Go check out Freshest Anime if you haven't. And check out his Oshinoko reactions. But that's what's going on. Let's see. Not bad, right? Not bad. It's just, you know, you would think that a hype pop-off episode like this Oshinoko would do well, but relative to the other Oshinoko Season 2 reaction numbers, it's all about the same. You know? I'm a little bit disappointed, but still, it's hitting the numbers that we want it to hit. Aqua biting, you know, probably is the part that people care. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, no new audience coming in. Yeah, no Japanese audience, obviously, because, you know, I'm just yapping in English. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, let's talk about this, bro. Episode 15, baby. 863 likes. 26 people were not happy with my reaction, probably because I paused too much. But hey, I don't care, man. 97% is pretty good to me. Let's see it. Views are 2.3 times higher than usual, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, this part's the... This is where, you know, Nemure. Because she said my daughter, right? Yeah. This part, right? Almost 4 RPM. Let's see it. Ooh, that's thick! That's thick! You know why? Because people just watched it for longer too, right? Like a 1738, that's it. Look at the... Here's the uh, average, look at this shit. A typical watch duration for a video is 6. Point, it's 643 to 820, right? But like 17 minutes and 30 seconds is how long people watch this video. Obviously, people are going to watch it for a longer time. They're serving more ads. Therefore, higher RPM. 9 minutes and 18 more seconds than usual. Great. Great. Solid, thick. Let's look at the audience. Yeah, it's all, you know, returning viewers. Pretty even split here. Solid. I mean, this episode, yeah. It was one of the, you know, the craziest episodes of ReZero, right? So, very happy with that. Very happy with the engagement. And then the analysis, right? And the analysis and then it should be reviewed. The amount of fucking double dipping we're doing, bro, is fucking crazy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> a lot of PDF files are mad about these videos, right? Crucify Mushoku PDF files. Listen, if you're gonna get mad, go ahead. Please unsub too. Like, you are existing Mushoku Tensei retards that are actual fucking pedos that thought that this is some kind of safe space. I don't want you here. If you genuinely think that me talking against, you know, pedo shit is a bad thing, what does that make you? Like, you are disgusting human beings. Like, you shouldn't even fucking be here. A lot of people are fucking upset about this video. There's a... It's actually funny. We are at a point... We are at a point in content creation where we've done... We've grown to the... We've grown so well that if you search my name, there's motherfuckers that are literally having therapy sessions online. There's motherfuckers clipping my videos right without the entire video just for one specific segment to justify their behaviors when we shook with tensei people are having fucking therapy sessions right they're having therapy sessions on twitter about how mean content creator called me out because i will wait to booty <laughs> it's like cry about a pussy i'm not wrong i'm standing on my stance go fuck yourself but this is a good thing right it's actually a great thing 
when motherfuckers are literally having schizotherapy sessions on Twitter in their little echo chambers to make them feel better about themselves, it means that we're doing something, bro. We're doing something, bro. Uh, this is an analytics related video. This is an analytics video talking about, you know, how Reaser was doing well wonders for my analytics. Yeah, people really love, you know, these analytic video. I mean, this itself is an analytic video, right? But I think that uh we'll end it here for now. I've pretty much covered most of the shit that I wanted to talk about. That's pretty much it, man. That's another week's worth of performance reviews. TLDR, nothing's getting dropped. Nokotan should be dropped, but I want to watch it at least at the rice fields. Reaser was hard carrying. We're able to farm out many different types of content as well. Motherfuckers are also getting angry on Twitter because of my opinions of content creation, which is actually a good thing. Those are good problems to have. I will see you next time.